Well, what does it do? This is the best device at our school so far. The best because it has 10 points of touch. This means the touch screen responds well to your touch and styles. This computer has a 12 hour battery life, which is enough to last for a whole day's classes. This is all on a single charge, so make sure you charge it every night, ready for the morning. Let's have a look at just how convertible your Yoga 11 can be. This has a 360 degree hinge that allows it to turn into a tablet. There isn't just one camera, there are two. There is a standard front facing camera and there is a second rear facing camera. This allows you to take photos or videos of your surroundings and will be great when using it for your ERPs. I really like using my BYD for sketching. I really like using my BYD for playing with my friends and creating worlds in Minecraft. Can you say which way? I like using my BOAD to take photos for my projects and photos with my friends. Smile. I really like my BOAD because it's easier to send assignments on to your classroom. We hope you enjoy your new Nova 11 e Hi, I'm Sean McEachran. I'm the BYD Administrator at Lindhurst Primary School. Uh, while I look after the program, uh, it certainly couldn't run without the support of our principal, Greg Lacey, uh, without our business manager, Sharon Steele, um, Catherine Clement in the office, um, and our IT team. So um, it's a magnificent program. We've been running it for the past nine years, and um, we're proud to say that you know we were at the forefront uh, nine years ago getting BYD started before it became uh, mainstream. This part of the video is more for parents uh, because it goes into the details of the fantastic benefits you get. Uh, it goes into warranty, insurance, um, and it looks at ways that you can pay for your device as well. So BYD stands for Bring Your Own Device, although this isn't a true BYD program in, that, in the sense that kids just can't bring any device that they uh, like. Uh, we've decided to have this consistent platform where we use the, the Lenovo Yoga 11e. We just use the one device um, and we find that that tends to help our technician um, and our IT team to really support our students in just getting on with the learning and taking some of the technical issues that can come along with trying to make sure, dealing with a, a multitude of devices. Um, so it e makes it easier for teachers to teach, for children to learn. Um, at a secondary college, they might have a whole team of people looking after their BYD program, but we only have that one technician. But I can tell you that getting one of these devices, um, just this particular one, which we've had since, we've been getting since 2016, um, really gives you a good idea as a parent of what your child's been learning, um, helps you to really link in with that. And for your child, well, nothing beats being able to continue working on the same device to complete a project that they've been working on you know, that day or during the, that week. So um, there's a lot of value in it. Okay, so why BYAD? Well, one of our goals with bringing this program to you is to bring value to our parent and carer community and to our students. Um, we, feel, we find that it really motivates and engages the kids to ha when they have their own device. Um, and it also helps to set up those essential 21st century habits. Um, that you've been seeing during remote learning, such as collaboration, um, such as critical thinking, such as communicating and creating within digital environments. But we know that once they're out of remote learning and they're back in the classroom working with kids, then they're in that physical environment, the BYD also really helps so well in that, in that instance. Um, our program isn't compulsory. Um, but we have worked hard to provide value for our parents, carers, to make the program as accessible as we can. The numbers show that we are always getting around 80 to 90% uptake every year. And this reinforces to us that students and families are getting a lot out of the program. Okay, so let's have a closer look at this device. Uh, it's the Lenovo Yoga 11e. We've got twice the amount of storage from last year. Uh, it's got twice the amount of RAM. And it's actually cheaper this time around. Uh, these 
units are in high demand. Uh, high demand leads to greater production levels and it's become a lot cheaper uh, because of that. But, um, you know, the, the, the main reason why we really do get this is because we know it's great for learning, but it's reliable and it's sturdy and we can trust it. And we know that we're not going to have you know, a multitude of issues with it. Uh, we've had it since 2016 and every year it's just got better and better. So quite simply, this device is built for schools and for children. And that's why we've always gone with this device since uh, 2016. The feedback that I get from students and from parents and carers um, is incredibly positive about a device. Um, you know, and every year you'll see students continuing to um, take this on to, to high school. Um, you know, there's schools like Alkira, um, St. Peter's, they, they all um, do have, a, have the option for the Lenovo Yoga 11e, they use that. And, um, you know, when kids come back to visit us, they often tell us about how they're still running their, their device, sometimes in year seven. I've heard a couple of cases into year eight as well. So what do you get with this? Well, you get your computer, of course, and then there's a, what we call a garage stylus. So that actually fits inside the device and it charges inside the device. So it's got its little hole in there, it's little garage that it fits in every time the uh, student finishes using it. There's a bag with a shoulder strap, um, there's a charger, and there will also give them a sticker where the students put their name. Um, you know, a year into using it, those stickers might become a little dirty. We always give them um, extra ones when they do need it. They, they can just ask for that on request. Okay, let's have a look at the extra benefits of getting a Lenovo Yoga 11e through um, our BYD program and getting them through our department and over getting it through retail. So the benefits of getting it through the department include that uh, you get the EduStar software suite, um, which is a whole heap of little programs to assist with student learning. You get Office 365. Um, and you know that's a great benefit look at jb hi-fi i think you're looking at least a hundred dollars a year for a subscription with something like that you get three years of on-site warranty uh, and that means that a technician from lwt comes out to fix your child's computer that only happens after your child comes to me or, or our technician and um, tells us about the issue we try to fix it and if it's something that um, it can't be fixed by us and it, it is a genuine issue with the computer, then um, that, that technician will come out and, um, and, and fix, the, fix the problem. Um, you get three years of the department education um, antivirus. So that's set up by our technician and there are filters that are enabled to help to protect your device. You get that as well. So um, with your insurance, uh, you, that you are covered for theft, loss, and damage. Um, but look at the booklet that you would have got al that you would have got along with this video, and it has all the terms and conditions that are clearly explained. Okay, so one of the other things I like to do is hold a BYD forum. Once the kids get their BYDs, it's a time at recess or lunch. We will um, once a week we'll go in and I'll support the kids in how to use these devices properly, um, how to look after them how to um, be a better digital citizen. And uh, this is just incredibly positive and really gets the kids on the right track for their uh, learning on the computers. Uh, we also have a technician who's there full time. Uh, we'll get a lot of issues that might happen. We get them fixed really, really quickly because of him. John's fantastic. Um, like I said before, if there is a, an issue we can't fix, we put it into warranty and then we give your child a replacement, uh, a replacement device that they can continue to use while that device is getting fixed. Uh, there's also, you know, we've got our Google education suite where kids can use Google Classroom, um, which has been great for, especially for our older kids. And we, LWT also offer things like, if it's coming up to the school holidays and there's an issue with your computer, they do offer to come out to your house and actually fix the device as well so you know you, you don't lose in that sense as well 
So those skills that I was talking about with uh, the four C's of creativity, critical thinking, collaborating, communicating, uh, they're often embodied in something like Minecraft. It might like just look like it's a game, but when these kids get together and they solve issues and they create worlds and they work on their maths or they work on their writing within these worlds, um, this is real, real future sort of learning that we're looking at. We know that kids are gonna be in digital environments um, in the future, a part of their, their, their future will be that. So this is really skilling them up in that. So the kids get Minecraft education, um, that comes for free. Uh, and then you also get uh, a great little ed editing program called Wii Video. It's, um, it's almost an equivalent to like the Max iMovie, um, but we, we do pay for it as a school. Um, so part of you know, your BYD, we, we, we try to um, give you some more value by getting this great little editing software. And you know, that's how a lot of kids like to communicate now. They love to edit videos together. So we really um, try to skill them up in that sense as well. Um, and then we also have our tech experts assistance um, we have kids in grade four, five, and six. They're like the leader of that uh, grade and they will help the other kids in the class with anything that's uh, any technical sort of issues. So LWT is a fantastic support for our school. They support us with warranties. They get those warranty jobs fixed for us. They also get insurance fixed for us as well. Um, but uh, they are the portal that we go through to um, get our BYD devices, and that's where we get that fantastic education pricing that you can't get through retail. Uh, so they are a great institution. Okay, this is really important. This is um, how kids use the BYD devices. It's one thing to have them in hand, and um, but it's all about how the children decide to apply themselves to the BYD. It's primarily, it's an education device um, and I know there's students who like to um, put games on there and things like that, but you really have to um, ask yourself, are those games there for education? It's, is it helping in what my child's trying to achieve at school? So, um, you know, we, we've got ICT user agreements. Uh, we've got a, a BYD user agreement that you sign and um, you have to bring back to the school at the beginning of next year once you get your device. There is an ICT user agreement that's up on our school website that really points out um, some guidelines on how to be a safe and responsible uh, user of the technology. Um, it also points out consequences for not doing the right thing. Um, so, you know, that's one of our, that's our part of, of, of doing it. We, we, will, we work as hard to supervise the kids as we can while we're at the school, but um, that's also your part as well. Once you get home, there's no substitution for, for supervision that you can give at home. Uh, we, you know, we, we have a protected environment at our school and our websites are screened and the software is screened as much as possible, um, but we can't stress how important it is for students to understand how to protect themselves and to get the most out of the technology in a safe way. So it's really essential to go over those user agreements that I've just mentioned with your child so they can get off to the best start with BYD. Uh, we can also audit these devices at any time. So it's important that all mem uh, members of the family understand that it is primarily an, edu an education device. Okay, so how do you pay for these devices? Well, there's two options. The first option is to pay for it outright. And then the second option is to pay for it by lease. It's a leasing option. So the first option, you pay half by December the 3rd, 2021, that's $527. And then you pay for the other half, $527 by February the 4th, 2022. And then when it comes around to that time, your child picks it up and there's no more recurring payments. Um, it's the most popular option and it's what most people go for. But we do have that option of leasing. Uh, it's a leasing option where you uh, sort of you're leasing it to buy it in the end. So you get to keep it by the by the end of the three years. But I've got Sharon who's going to go into a little bit more detail. Hi everyone, my name's Sharon. I'm the business manager. Um, I'll be speaking to you about the outright purchase and the leasing option. Um, the benefits for the outright purchase is you have no reoccurring payments. 
Um, there's no transaction or finance fees payable. And once you buy the device, you have nothing else to worry about when your child finishes grade six. Um, in regards to the lease, uh, parents will enter into a lease agreement with the school, um, which goes for the three years until your child finishes grade six. This is a legal binding document. Um, the lease contribution will occur monthly with the direct deposit sign up is not required until February next year. Um, so we will send you out more information when that becomes due in February next year. And then you just fill in a direct debit with card details and that comes out monthly. Um, Parents pay a $150 deposit to confirm that you'd like a BYOD computer for your child. This deposit is deducted from the total price. Um, at any time during the three years, you can actually pay out the device. So um, the one, the main thing is to remember is if you order an outright device, you can't change it over to a lease, but if you order a lease device, you can pay it out anytime in the three years. So what happens when my child finishes grade six? Um, the school will set up an ownership agreement. The parents are asked to, re to sign and return to the school. Um, once this is done, parents will be handed over the computer to keep forever. And that separates themselves from the school and the BYOD program. The device will be re-imaged back to the original settings. Then parents officially own the device and they're able to keep it and use it as they please. Your child will be shown how to back up their computer and guide it through the process in term four. The other thing I just wanted to mention, if your child leaves uh, any, the school before the end of grade six, um, it's the same process. Um, they'll be able to back up anything they've got onto the computer It'll go back to the original settings. And if it's an outright purchase, then you just take the device with you. If it's a lease, you'll have the option to either pay out the lease or you'll need to continue paying the lease until your child uh, is at the end of grade six. So thank you very much. Okay, so looking at some frequently asked questions that we would often get at a live uh, BYD information night if we were on site at our school. Um, one of uh, one question that we often get is um, if I order a BYD computer, then I change my mind. What happens there? Well, there is no refund. So once you, um, you know, a commitment is a commitment to getting these. Once you've uh, put $150 towards the lease by December the 3rd, um, that's your deposit and there's no refunds given because we would have already put an order in place. Um, and also the same for the outright purchases when you pay that um, money for that. There's no refund. We've already put an order in place. Um, it's legally binding um, on our end. And, um, you know, we don't make any money out of this program. So we really ask you to um, look through the information booklet and have a good think about that decision because refunds aren't given in that case. So another question we get is, what happens if my child were to leave before the uh, end of year six? So with the outright purchases, really simple. Uh, there's just a transfer of ownership form and your child and yourself, you'll take that um, away to wherever you need to take it and you don't have to worry about paying anything else. Um, however, if it's a leasing option, the payments for the lease continue. So those monthly payments will continue until the end of year six. Um, the only option for that is to, you can pay out the, the remainder of the, of the, your, um, payments. So you don't have to worry about doing it monthly. You could pay out whatever's left over, but otherwise you do have to pay those monthly payments. Another question we get is, uh, the possibility of, uh, transferring the computer from one student to another, to a, to a sibling, um, who's coming up into year four or something like that. And there's, there's a whole host of reasons as to why we don't do that. Um, but to put it simply, there's an EduStart image on that device. And once the student um, is getting to the end of year six, we remove that EduStart image and um, it's not allowed to be put back on. So it's something not even teachers can really do. Um, that's one of the main reasons why. Um, another reason why is we like to have the consistency of that one device. So we know what the year fours are. Uh, are using, the, what the year fives are using, and it just makes us uh, more able to properly service the, 
the device. So no, we don't transfer the um, transfer the devices to to younger to siblings or to another student. What if something goes wrong with the computer? So the battery runs flat, hard drive failure. Um, I've mentioned it before, but yeah, there's a there's a warranty procedure that we go through. We do a claim on your behalf and organise for the device to be repaired by LWT. We actually we log the job um, up on their website and. Um, they, they come out to us and they work on the device. So hardware failure, um, you know, battery, the, the battery issues, they'll, they'll come out and, and fix those devices and they're very good at it. And uh, they really help our program to run as smoothly as it can. Okay, what if your child were to um, accidentally damage the device? Well, it's covered by insurance and uh, that's part of what, while you pay um, a little bit more for these devices, you get this fantastic warranty cover, you get this fantastic uh, insurance cover. Catherine uh, Clement in the office, uh, she's the person who you need to speak with if there is a, an issue with your device. She'll help you to fill out that paperwork. Um, so it, the device is often brought to the technician or myself first. We have a look at it and we talk to the child and we find out what's happened. Then the parent needs to come in and fill out the paperwork and really um, explain what happened and give dates, a date that it happened as well. If you don't give those dates, then it's you have issues with the insurance being processed properly. Um, it's a $100 claim fee, uh, excess fee on the devices before um, LWT come out and start working on them. But if there are any issues with it, um, see Catherine at the office and she's, she's fantastic at helping you to get that paperwork done and like I said it's a hundred dollar excess fee okay so now what's next now that you've got this information well I'd be looking through that information booklet that you got along with this video uh, looking at detail really fills in a lot more of what I've been talking about um, get to the last couple of pages of the information booklet and that is where you express your commitment to um, going about becoming a part of our BYD program. Like I've said, it, it is non-compulsory, but it's, uh, you know, we get our 80 to 90% of uptake every year, and it is a great opportunity for your kids. Uh, we know that they get so much out of these devices and it really motivates and engages them to become 21st century learners. Uh, now, because we're in remote learning, um, I wouldn't expect you to print out the whole um, paper you can either, um, you know, print out uh, just the, that page that you're planning on committing to. So like I said, towards the end, there's a page for outright, if that's what you want to go for. You need to put your name to that with your signature expressing your commitment and uh, hand that in, get to the office and pay the money um, for it. And there's also one for the leasing option where you pay your $150 deposit um, and you don't have to pay anything else until we get to the beginning of next year in uh, February next year is when we start um, doing those those payments, those direct debit payments month by month. So you just print out that one piece of paper, either lease and either the outright, hand it into the office when you're doing your payment. Um, we'd also love to give you that booklet um, when you get back as well, or when we all get back and we'll, we'll wait and see when, when that happens. But um, look, Hopefully um, you, you really, really find this is gonna be great for your child. Have a really good think about it um, and, and read through all of it. It's got everything you need in that information booklet. Um, go and see Catherine at the office and she'll be able to help you out and she'll, she'll put your name down for those devices. So um, I'll see you around, bye.